This is Captain Tristan Lorraine, 46 years old. He was flying the Boeing 757. Being a pilot was always his dream, and he tried to stay fit for this. But on March 9, 2006, his career and his passion came to an unexpected end. Today, he may not pilot any aircraft. And he has no doubt about the reason. I was an airline captain. I had a number of exposures to engine oil fumes whilst at work. They found the engine oil ingredients in my blood. My health declined. I lost my license and then I lost my job. Doctors found a toxic chemical in his blood. Tree crystal phosphate or TCP, a known neurotoxin. Synthetic oils for jet engines contain up to 3% of TCP. But how does the oil get from inside the engines into the cabin and into the body of the occupants? In all jet engine aircraft, the breathing air is taken directly from the jet engine and directed into the cabin, without being filtered. Therefore, it is possible that contaminants of burnt oil get into the cabin after seal failures or maintenance issues. But when engine oil is heated, it may have other effects. This is well known by Chief Flight Attendant Ruth Medina. I've noticed my passengers getting sick. I'd never witnessed that before, that many passengers getting sick. Now the passengers didn't know what was going on. We as a crew knew there was something happening on this airplane, but we didn't know at the time. Today, Ruth Medina is ill health retired. Contaminated cabin air is a problem, especially for pilots and flight attendants. If they get ill, they lose their license, as well in Germany. We are aware of multiple colleagues who sue at the labor courts because they lost the license. Also cabin crews know the symptoms from their own experience. Strange smell upon engine startup, like dirty socks or a wet dog, very strange. You get sick, like throwing up, and it takes relatively long until you get back being yourself. Professor Christian van Netten is a toxicologist at the University of British Columbia in Canada. For 12 years he has been involved with TCP in cabin air. He warns... TCP interferes with the electrical conduction within the uh, nervous system and consequently paralyzes people. Like Karen. Until 1998 she had good health. But then there was a strange smell on one of the flights. Shortly thereafter she got sick and suffers Parkinson-like symptoms since. Despite numerous reports, the necessary research is only done half-hearted. We have not had an opportunity to do so, and uh, there seems to be a certain reluctance by the industry to allow proper studies to be taken place. Therefore, the exact toxicity and its effects on the human body are not scientifically known. For those affected, this is not acceptable. Tristan Lorraine is convinced... I had nervous system effects from breathing heated engine oil. My colleagues at work, pilots and flight attendants in the UK and around the world have also had nervous system effects. And the tricrystal phosphate, the toxic chemical present in jet engine oils, doctors found it in my blood. I have been contaminated, other people have been contaminated, more people will be contaminated. And it's also an issue of flight safety. February 19, 2007. This aircraft, operated by Eurowings, a partner of Lufthansa, encounters a serious in-flight incident. Only a few minutes after takeoff, both pilots suddenly feel unwell. They manage to don their oxygen masks and declare an emergency. Shortly thereafter, they succeed in landing the aircraft safely back in Birmingham. The accident investigation determined an oil leak as the cause of the incident and thereby contaminated air entered the cabin. Towards us, the company puts these official findings in dispute and claims no oil contaminants have entered the cabin at all. Which raises a question, how often does such events occur? We asked our Civil Aviation Administration, the LBA, but they keep the numbers as a secret. And manufacturers and airline claim such events are very rare. Is that true? The Aircraft Accident Investigation Branch confirms such incidents also in Germany. We know of events where the crew landed and only then realized their symptoms. They had headaches, shivering, generally feeling unwell to the extent that they were unable to drive their cars home from the airport. It seems that not all reports are received by the government agency. 
we show logbook entries of oil events, data which we did obtain during our research from whistleblowers. Do you know any of these cases? Sind Ihnen die bekannt? No, I have never seen them. Therefore, we secretly take samples, together with our colleagues from Swiss television and from several airlines. If we will find TCP, this would be an indication that oil residue did get into the cabin air and that such events occur much more often than the airlines would like to admit. Professor Van Netten has analyzed our samples in Canada. The results do confirm our expectation. For your particular pro project, we have done 31 wipe samples and 28 of those was, were highly positive for tricrystal phosphates. The highest amount of TCP was found in a sample from this Boeing 757 belonging to Condor. 154.9 microgram of TCP on a 2 by 2 centimeter surface. This is 1,000 times higher than the average of all other samples. We asked Condor for an interview, but this was cancelled on short notice. In a written statement, Condor states that they take our findings very seriously, but they emphasize the existence of TCP on part of the cabin and cockpit equipments does not permit any conclusions about the possible concentration in the cabin air. This is correct, as it has not been researched. But how much TCP may be present in the cabin? The expert says... There shouldn't be any in the, in the aircraft. The tricrystal phosphates are meant to be in the uh, engine and not in the aircraft itself. That certainly means that oil has been burned and that it enters the cabin and that people are inhaling this material. And this should be avoided by all means, says at least the manufacturer. Warning contains tricrystal phosphate. Prolonged or repeated breathing of oil mist or prolonged or repeated skin contact can cause nervous system effects.